side or you see a back shot? Yeah. Everybody always shows me their best shot. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta ask for the other shots. Even in shit lighting, you look round. We did the best we could with this hotel man. You had to face you the gotta mirror. You got to face the mirror. <laughs> you got to get the back. Look, you, do you have these mirror picks? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Show the difference. Is that what you do with yeah. that little window Watch. right there? Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're on stage in 30 minutes. Yeah, so no, no, but when you get... when you Yesterday. Get, oh, that's... Yeah. You can see yeah, your that's lines. A, that's just facing the other way. Oh, yeah. That's you weird. See, <laughs> see his Our confidence would be so much higher. Yeah, that would be lines. See the lines from far away. You can zoom in. Crazy, man. You got great shape, bro. Oh, Appreciate it. Great shape. Oh my god, he spilled. No. <laughs> you can't spill if you don't have water in that back. Yeah. Oh, you're tight, dude. Good to go? You're tight. Just don't don't do anything stupid at the last minute. You just just eat like a bird at this point, because you're full. You're full full. Those pictures that front double you first showed me that this morning? Yeah. Yeah, you just pick like a bird today. Especially if you're on you're on stage in what, 30, 45 hour? Yeah, I would. Did you get a meal in? Yeah, uh huh. I would say maybe a half a muffin pumping up backstage to hold you over. You're good. You're, you're round. That's yeah. Sweet. Appreciate it. Yeah, but I'll be. I'll, I'm trying to get you know, general line of backstage. So I'm I know it's annoying. Come back here, back. Here. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, man. Absolutely, man. You got a friend. It's all. Ah, oh, appreciate you guys. Just wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, is it? No. Oh, you are in here. <laughs> I was like, wait, wrong Get way. Get to the side. Where you going? Get to the side. Oh, you don't want to hop over? No, you're always Baby on Baby boy. Luckily, I'm, I'm with guys, so we, we shop at the same store. <laughs> Maybe. This is like two overgrown fucking pumpkins. <laughs> he's, uh, he's an overgrown I'm like the little one that sits on your stairs. He's like the little one in the kid's paint at school. No, I'm the one on the stair. Like, I'm the, actually, not, not the, not the, not the, not the platform, like this, no, just yeah, the stair. Yeah. Like, I'm a stair, I'm a stair pump. Master's class for your, your class? Oh, yeah. really? Oh, okay. No, you don't have to rush that. I want to eat that now. Take this with you. And I want that. I want those gone before you're on stage. Okay. So, like, space it out in Because you're, you're just, you're, you're perfect, but I can tell if you don't eat that, you're going to be flat in about 10 minutes. So, I don't want that to happen. How should I pump up? So, um, I'm trying to get back there. So. There's other people that are up there. <clears throat> Backstage, I want you to, when you start to pump up, Eat that one half, because there's two halves in there. Eat the one, and then start pumping up. Wipe your face, because you got fuck crumbs everywhere. And then um, I want you to start. Do you have bands? Is there any, what's back there? Wait, everything. Okay, so nothing crazy, bro. Literally, take some dumbbells, do some fucking arms, like bicep curls, but not, not, not this. Like, I'm talking like this. Right. Squeeze it. Yep, and then I want you to do it. Then do it over, do some fucking kickbacks like this, do some laterals, do some fucking rears. And then take this, and I want you to do the chest. Is your benches there? Yep. I just don't want a lean in and, and doing this is gonna, you know. But if I'll you, figure out if you to get my chest up, you're like, or take the dumbbells and put them the in the hex dumbbells. Get machine. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to almost like to the point, to the point, go like this, to the point where you're almost like. Yeah, you're good. Look, look at me. To the point where your chest is like almost like okay, this oh, yeah. is like almost too much. I know it sounds crazy, but in the gym when you're when you're after a chest workout is when your chest looks the best. Right. So kind of overdo it, and then kind of stay cut. Like, don't take that off until you start feeling like a little little warm, because once the once you get cold, your skin thickens and your veins are gone. So yeah. you still longer you stay. Like even back, do you have socks? Yeah. Put your socks on and okay. keep them on, and I'll take your socks off until you're about to walk on stage. Okay. So. It's Body I'm gonna text you all. I bet no, it's bodybuilding classic than me. Okay. Um, so when classic finishes, I should be st at least pumped they up. They will my, call you. I know, but, but pumped up my chest and everything like timing wise. Or in the middle of classic, I should be getting my chest pumped up. What's it right after classic? You? Yeah. Uh, and what's the order of? Masters. Uh, masters. It's gonna. 
I'm going to be quick. When physique starts lining up, I'm going to be in okay. line. Okay, but here, how's this? You, five, I want five minutes of pumping up. That's it. Oh, okay. No, yeah, because it five, maybe like seven to eight, because you pump the problem, but you can't pump up too long. So because you deplete myself. No, because you know when you're posing on stage, and I, like you've heard the term, like you're getting better as you pose. If you pump up too much, then you're you can get the point where you start flattening out and right. look worse. Okay. So you actually want to. It's better to go on stage a tad flat and build on stage than start here and then diminish. In line, should I be doing rice cakes? You, no, 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 just no, these two. no, no. In these line, two. I do. Little, yeah, just these. Two. Yes, in line, I just want you. Like, like if there's bands or just hold dumbbells, I just like I just want you to fucking keep and like look. Even if you just do this, like just fl like I'm doing this and just flexing. That's like you just keep moving online because a lot of times they'll pull you aside and you'll be waiting in line and you'll be standing there and then just right. Okay. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I'm trying to get, get back. back. Right. Love you, bro. Listen, any issue? Text me. Just keep anything. your phone on. Yeah, I, it's right here. All right. That's good. It's right here, right? Right on, here. Right. All right, guys, what is going on? We are at Columbus, Ohio for the 2023 Arnold Classic here at the convention center in downtown Columbus, Ohio. Um, as you guys saw throughout the past couple days, getting Joe ready for the stage. So he just went backstage now, just sent them off with the muffins and all. So he's backstage getting ready, pumping up. Trying to make my way backstage, but they're very, very strict this year. With uh, they don't not even giving backstage patches out, so it's a little throwing me off. But all in all, Joe woke up absolutely on point. I will go through later on exactly what I do, did with Joe after everything's said and done and the results are in. But right now, we are here not for the expo, not for the pros. Right now, my focus is only solely on Joe, and the crowd is moving in. So follow along because we're going to go into the amateur Arnold Classic. Follow along. Number 72, Joe Ferrante. There we go, Joe! Go, Joe! Come on, Joe! Yeah, boy! Good, Joe! Squeeze! Good! Right there! Good! There you go, Joe! Good job. Good job. 72 and 43 switch, please, right next to each other. Let's go, Joe. Show it. And one more time, turn to the back. Squeeze hard, Go Joe. Ahead. Hard. Good. And face front. There you go, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You can file off to your right. Way to go, 72. Up next, our men's physique, open class A. Take a piss. We have six athletes, five. <laughs> Number six, Javon Corral. Number 43, Zachary Claude. Number 72, 
Joe Ferrante. Yeah, Joe! Number 73, Demetrius Jordan. In fourth place, number 43, Zachary Kwan. In third place, number 73, Demetrius Jordan. Your runner-up, number six, Javon Corral. And your winner and overall winner, number <laughs> 72, Joe Ferrante. Hey, 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 Joe! Way to go, 7-2. Win the two. Because you won the overall, because there was no, no, no A division, 35. Way to work, kid! So we're, we're leaving the venue. Alton what do we got in our hands, buddy? Number 91, what are, what are those? Antonio Bassett. What are those? We got first number place. Number 96, Brian and Accepti. Over. And, and number 99, overall. Ahmed Salim. Not a pro card, but first national show ever. And fifth Comes place, in, number 90, Smokes Salim. his class, 35 and over, and takes the overall. And there he is. Place, number 88, Wayne Porter. Next year, in third place, number 99, new IFBB Ahmed pro. Mark Salim. my fucking words. Place, Absolutely amazing. Fucking Brian, smashed it, looked incredible. Posing was on point. Thanks to my boy Aaron Banks. Showed him how to pose. It was all together a fucking great job. Gold Gym Bridgewater, shout out to them. Gas, Better Bodies, the whole crew. He, you guys were all part of this man right here, his whole journey. Coming back home, some hardware, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guy? How are you? What's up, bro? What are you doing? All right, guys, so we are here at Bullfrog Nutrition in Columbus, Ohio. Paul Callahan is the owner. He has two locations, first being in Toledo, second being in Columbus here in Ohio. I've done many appearances for Paul. He always does a get-together right before the Arnold Classic on Thursday. So today is myself, Fuad Abiyad, and Hunter Labrada are here shaking hands and kissing babies. So we will be here until about 6, 7 o'clock, and then i got to head over to American Barbell to do a seminar. But in the meantime, come by and check out Uprising Extracts. Grab a picture with us at 8 by 10 Get an autograph. Come say what's up and check us out. Bullfrog Nutrition. You're the funniest one in the podcast. No, no, no. <laughs> they just... Yeah. They, they, they got to tell them that. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they allow me to be the funniest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like your, 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 your attitude to the best. You mean asshole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway... Uh, Here, trying to get like what you. Uh, what's, what's in the plan for the future? Right now, I'm in school. I had to be a firefighter. So That's awesome. Oh, in, in, in downtown Columbus? No. Um, so I actually live about an hour and a half from here. Oh, okay. I live by Dayton. Okay. The Dayton area. So That's where you want to... Uh, yeah, I want to say get close to home. That's a good spot. So 24 on, 72 off, right? Yeah. That's not I, a bad I, I, game. I think it's 24, 48, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, Sunday is my first test to be a fire, fire good, one. Good, good luck, so, bro. So uh, kind of excited, confident about it. I mean, yeah. it's been great. That's awesome. Started, so I'm definitely cool. loving it. You, you, you look like a thick boy. You got <laughs> traps and thick neck. Yeah. That's a great career. Yeah. That's yeah. a great career. Yeah. Firefighter is the way to go, bro. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. You have to save lives, take some time off, you can train. Oh, you, and when there's nothing going on, you hang out. And you, yeah. And you cook. Because you're here, guy. Did you hear that? <laughs> well, you're here too, but he didn't say it to you. Yeah, but he, well, knows, he, runs, he, runs but he knows I'm not. Oh, sensitive. here we go with this stuff. He, he runs I'm not as sensitive as you are. That's why he's not. <laughs> if you only knew the calls we get after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Should I post that? <laughs> what do you do? Hey, if I go below, you're gonna be ha, you're below me, so I'm screwed. So if I go on the tip, you're gonna be here on the tip. It's the way so you've been with I'm screwed either way. <laughs> Unless I just sign right over it. And I can't do that, so I'm screwed. You have to pick a totally different area. Okay. Pick this spot right here. That's a big I was gonna pick, but then I yeah. thought I don't know. No, you win if you pick this spot. Why? Because it's the second best spot on the belt. So that's not a win. <laughs> that's not a win. That's a, that's a bullshit fucking answer.
Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Any of this stuff uh, support your uh, goddaughter? Um, yes, this uh, right here, the Smile and Wave t-shirts. <laughs> What size you looking for, bro? Yeah. Um, in that one, I might. Yeah. Fucking nightmare. Huge fan. Fucking love the podcast. I've been on the podcast. I actually found it on the podcast a week before the podcast. Really? I ended up. What's up, dude? So I started binging it. I appreciate that. I only have three X's in the flat. It's literally like the next week. Or this. Guys come in. I mean, I give, I send the person. All the money for that goes to her. But I give, I send percentage of that. But, the, but this is an oversized. That is. And then everything just three X's. They fit great. You're the only person that got the body. I got it in that color too, depending on the color. I'll take this color. <laughs> Like when Sir, it's not, oh, I got it. I didn't yeah, know if that was a 3X there. Oh, this is large. Sorry, you got you. Oh, there it is. It's probably sixth grade. There you go, bro. Perfect. Oh, no, I wish we had it. Yeah. Then I'm like, sorry. All right. Appreciate it. 20. Okay. You take cash or just order? Yeah. Cash is in it. Cash is in it. Cash is in it. Cash is in it. I'll do the other one, too. Oh, sure. Oh, no. Cash is in it. The big one? I'm going to afford it. Now it's just like, yeah, it's really awesome. Awesome. 40. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely, man. No, never gonna be Corny, like I said, I forgot you guys were already down at the one gym downtown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, about the other gym. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, maybe tomorrow, Saturday, though. Okay. Friday, Saturday, okay. Friday, Saturday okay. I'm training. Paul works Paul out there. Right. He, he said he likes it a lot. Yeah. So, That's awesome. Yeah, so like I said, if you do, let us know. The gym owner is like, Dude, I really, really appreciate it. Yep, no problem. You guys are always good. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yep. I didn't want to cut you. How you doing? Right, brother. Good, man. Absolutely. Anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere. This is going to go on nice because it's nice and slick. So they're really truly overdeveloped, you know, more than what they possibly would have been if I was pick. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, these guys are sweet too. Yeah, my, uh, the whole thing. Jack Bear? Yeah. Dang. I'm a huge, I'm a, I don't know, I guess what you can say is, it's actually, he's green because he's incredible, the incredible Hulk. Fucking Hulk, who was that? Jack Hulk, Teddy Bear, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm a huge Hulk fan. I, I was on my own. All right, we are back in the hotel at the Double Tree. Fucking two thumbs down. Double Tree. Two weekends in a row. I was in Florida last weekend for Blaston Labs. Double Tree in Columbus, Ohio. They, they're they fucking horrible. Double the things. people suck. The fucking service sucks. This place doesn't have a fucking AC. It's not even temperature regulated. But nonetheless, we are back. Had a very long day. Went to... Um, <laughs> her, her, her. Walked through the lobby. Ah. Little WD-40-ish. I don't want to back that's the lady who so, free water, so. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah, we got She's free water right. last night. So we went to... Uh, free water, think of that concept. <laughs> the fan's been on for 20 hours. Just kidding. It's, there's a lithium battery that I put in. This fucking kid. This is why he's only been with one girl his whole life. Because one girl can only tolerate so much stupid in one person. Okay, so we went to Joe's show today. It was fucking absolutely um, awesome. He won his 35 and over class. He also won the overall. Um, he did open, which was a little shocking to me that he didn't um, get in the first call out. He was in the second call out. Um, a little confused because he was by far, and I'm not saying because he's my client, and I'm not saying because I'm biased because he was not definitely the biggest. Um, but in that class alone, he was easily the sharpest. And I thought it was easily... Um, going to be in the first call. He wasn't, but to come to his first national show and uh, win 35 and over, take the overall, uh, was super exciting for me. It was the best he's ever looked. Um, and he's only been competing for a few years. So him being my training partner, one of my very close friends and somebody that I consider an iron brother and to watch him on stage and uh, just absolutely kill it. Um, brought me back to memories of helping Bobby when he competed at uh, Team U this year. And watching these guys accomplish their goal is something that um, makes me Bring, brings joy to my life because it keep, keeps me um, in this sport and helps keep the spirit of bodybuilding alive inside me. So um, I'm glad that I'm able to give it back to them 
and uh, help them achieve their goals. So we went to the show, had a good time, hung out with Joe for a little bit. Um, after he got off stage, we came back here. I had to run a Bullfrog Nutrition, do an event for Paul Callahan, who I'd been friends with and doing business with for years. He, I was the first pro that got brought out to his store. And uh, we had another great event, myself, Fuad Abiyad, and Hunter Labrada uh, had an event today appearance, and it was absolutely amazing from there. Had a shoot over, did a seminar at American Barbell with myself, Johnny Jackson, Derek Lunford, um, James Hollingshead, Branch Warren, um, Johnny O. Jackson. You guys saw the Brett Wilkin. Um, we had an open forum Q&A, and then they had a deadlift competition. So um, Gasp and uh, Better Bodies was there. Michael Johansson brought the whole crew. Um, cooked steaks for everybody. Rice, uh, dinner afterwards. Absolutely amazing. So it's going to be one hell of a weekend. We're going to be all over the place at the Gasp booth, at the Bolero booth, stopping by Maestro's, stopping by um, all of my friends that uh, I want to see that are at different booths. So it's going to be a crazy, jam-packed weekend. Hope we can film everything for you guys so you can see what it's like in the crazy life of El Cuadro. So until tomorrow, Saturday, see you later.